when and how a narcissist may experience karma, timing, and consequences. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm Mr. Lee Hammack, also known as Mental Illness, your favorite self-aware narcissist across social media platforms. If you're new to my content, I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist who has been in therapy for six years, working on self-improvement. I use my platform to raise awareness about narcissism, encourage therapy, and provide validation to victims, survivors, and thrivers of this disorder. In today's episode, we're going to delve into the topic of narcissists and karma. The question that often arises is when will narcissists experience their karma? As I grow and learn, my perspective on karma continues to evolve. Let's consider this. What if narcissists are already experiencing their karma? Self-aware narcissists often face the consequences of their actions more quickly because we recognize the weight of our behavior and the impact it has on others. Awakening to your narcissism changes your life forever and the shame and doubt can hit you all at once. Now, think about this. What if the karma for a narcissistic person is losing someone like you? What if their karma is the pain of losing a valuable relationship, even if they appear happy with someone else? Sometimes, rushing karma or wishing harm upon others can backfire, so it's important to let karma unfold naturally. I hope this perspective offers some insight into the concept of karma for narcissistic individuals. Remember, seeking revenge or trying to expedite karma can lead to unintended consequences. It's like a karmic boomerang. When you try to use it to ruin the narcissist's life, it can come back to hit you. You may experience momentary satisfaction from witnessing their suffering, but then you may face the consequences yourself. Karma does not discriminate, and attempting to rush it or harm others can result in unintended outcomes. As a self-aware narcissist, I believe my karma lies in my very existence. I will always chase happiness and never truly achieve complete contentment or joy. The narcissistic person in your life may be going through the same experience. I understand that this perspective may not be enough for some individuals, but it is important to remember that seeking revenge or trying to expedite karma can backfire. Karma takes its own course, and sometimes, the best thing you can do is focus on your own healing and personal growth. So in a preacher-like manner, let me backtrack for a moment. I'm talking about a metaphorical preacher's parlor or preaching party. My point is, don't attempt to force karma onto someone, particularly narcissists. Trust me, their karma may already be unfolding. You see, the narcissistic person's karma might lie in the fact that although they may appear happy in the moment, that happiness is temporary and fleeting. It fades away. Instead of obsessing over them and their perceived happiness, trust the process and focus on moving forward in your own life. Remember, each individual's journey is unique. And while some may find solace in pursuing personal karma, others may find peace in letting karma take its natural course. It's all about finding what works for you and maintaining your own well-being. Consider this. What if you were the best thing that ever happened to them? What if their karma is losing you? But here's the catch, they have to lose you naturally. They cannot experience that karma if you keep pursuing them, watching their every move, or begging for closure. You must stand your ground and detach yourself for their karma to unfold. Why can't them losing you be their karma? Why do you need to see them in pain? Remember, trying to force karma on them is like throwing a boomerang. It might initially feel satisfying but it will eventually come back to hit you. I can relate to having the desire to force karma on others, seeking revenge and thinking it would bring satisfaction. However, it doesn't work that way. When their lives crumbled, it affected me too because our lives were intertwined. What if their karma is simply missing out on sustained happiness and joy? What if it's perpetually enduring boredom? What if their karma is growing old without ever experiencing true, lasting happiness? Some narcissistic individuals may not end up alone, 
but they could still die lonely, unable to find genuine happiness. Let that be their karma. However, it's important to remember that you may not witness this firsthand. So instead of forcing karma on them, focus on your own healing and happiness. Protect your peace and let go of toxic relationships. Trust that their actions will catch up to them in due time. What does karma look like to you? Share your thoughts in the comments. Sometimes, they might try to find happiness with someone new. Now, I'm not saying don't expose them if that's what it takes to get them to leave you alone. Sometimes, they can't let go, and they keep playing a toxic game with you. It's like playing a toxic version of Monopoly, Operation, Bingo, or Gin Rummy. Stop participating in this destructive game with them. When you stop engaging with them, when you establish no contact, that can be their karma. But they won't experience it until you take those necessary steps. Remember, you have the potential to be happy. You can choose happiness. Narcissistic individuals often struggle to do so. They spend their lives chasing it. And as we age, the pursuit of happiness can seem even further away. So, what does karma look like to you? Share your thoughts in the comments. When you express your desire for narcissists to face their karma, what does that mean to you? It doesn't have to align with what I've discussed in this video. Write it down, get it out of your system, and share it in the comment section. This can be your opportunity to vent and release those feelings, because keeping them bottled up can lead to resentment and anger. There is no judgment here unless you wish harm upon them. But remember, protect your peace. Most narcissistic individuals will never experience true peace. Perhaps that is their karma. And keep in mind, you may not be around to witness it. You just have to trust that whether you are a believer or not, in whatever higher power you believe in, they will handle it. It is important to let them handle it. They do not need your assistance. Sometimes, we may think we can give them a head start by sharing things or trying to expose them, but trust me, they do not need it. God, or your higher power, does not need your head start. They will arrive with their own karma backpack full of lessons when the time is right. I'd often feel like I will spend my whole life chasing happiness. For many narcissists, karma is intertwined with our existence. We have hurt people, and we have to live with that. Some of us may never be forgiven, and in some cases, we may not even deserve forgiveness. Karma is a complex and unpredictable concept. Please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts on karma in the comment section. Your input is valuable. Thank you for being here, and remember to protect your peace. Mental illness out. Peace.